I'm Kim Ingalls, this is IFTV and welcome to the NWG Innovation Festival 2018. It's busy already, it's not sunny yet, but we have got so much stuff to do. It's bigger and better than last year. We have 13 teams facing 13 challenging questions in our 13 sprints. We'll be taking you through it throughout the week, but right now, let's get this festival started. Good morning, everybody. What a delight it is to be here. Thank you so much. A very warm welcome to all of you to this fabulous Northumbrian Water Group Innovation Festival 2018. There it is. It's finally underway. Um, well, what I think is really exciting about this festival is that it's all about challenges. It's not, it's not just a sort of general innovative uh, coming together. It's actually, they've been given very specific. There are 13 what, what have been called sprint tents. Um, and each of these tents has been given a very specific challenge. Um, and I think it's just, it's a really proactive way of sort of shaking the tree and making sure things come down. You know, there will be some great ideas that will come out of this week. Uh, back for 2018, it's great, it's fantastic to be back. Uh, a sprint has a certain structure, it's a process that we use uh, that sort of helps us to generate innovative ideas. So this is a place where people can go in and take their ideas and work out how to bring it to life. And that might just be an app, or it might be a film or a story or something. So there's a bunch of really creative people who can help bring the ideas to life. Well, I just couldn't believe how successful it was last year, given in a way it was a giant experiment and we had no idea what was going to happen after day one, but we got some great ideas. So this year to double everything pretty much or even triple it, then I think, you know, we're going to just see some incredible things. I think festival atmosphere is absolutely crucial. People are at their most creative when they're away from the office environment, when they're away from doing things conventionally, when they're with people that they never met before who spark them. So our sprints have begun. Our teams face huge challenges. It's time to go and see just exactly what they'll be getting up to this week. Yeah. So we've got seven minutes left of the spaghetti and marshmallow challenge. The tallest structure with a marshmallow on the top. So what's your actual challenge? Our challenge this week is, well, it's a future front transport fleet, so we don't know what that looks like. And today I still don't know what that looks like. So we're hoping this week brings some great collaboration and some great um, ideas. Some really good people in the room here and when everybody did their introductions, how people got here today. So we've got planes, we've got trains, we've got diesel cars, we've got petrol cars. Outside we've got some hydrogen cars. So let's see where we travel over the week. Not gone back to horses then? Well, horsepower maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Martin, your challenge title is Fans for Life. What's that all about? It's about converting our customers into fans of what we do. So we're looking at this idea of a customer journey versus a fan journey. So obviously a fan, typically, whether it's football, whether it's music, whatever it might be, they're quite locked into that and they live and breathe that particular organisation. We're looking at how that differs to a customer and then what are the things that are very similar in those relationships as well. So we can look at moments across the two and, and use those as opportunities to interact with those guys differently. Ben's leading the teenage sprint. We're all waiting for our ice creams at the moment, Ben. Tell me first of all, what's your challenge? Our challenge is looking at um, plastics in the ocean. So it's the Blue Planet Teenager Sprint. Um, we're trying to gather some teenage minds, young people minds, to try and look at the problem of plastics in the ocean and brainstorm some ideas to try and resolve some of those problems that we're brainstorming. What's your plan for the week ahead? So we're looking at three-day sprint and we're looking at plastics today um, and some of the issues around the use of plastics as individuals. Everyone's been really great, to be honest. Um, we're, just, we're getting everyone mixed in and everyone's dealing with everyone, so it's, it's been a fantastic morning so far, really great. 
So Clive's leading the sprint that's going deeper underground. What is your challenge? So the Mapathon, which is sponsored by Alden Survey, is all about sharing data. So we all know that uh, the gas, electricity, water, telecoms companies dig holes uh, and uh, we all have information about where our assets are, but do we share it in the best possible way with each other? So how are you going to go about doing that? Well, we've got a whole load of exercises. We're going to dig <laughs> a hole in the ground where we know that there is a sewer and an electric cable and we're going to try and dig exactly on the intersection and see whether <laughs> is the map accurate it's brilliant there's so many like-minded people uh, certainly the atmosphere has been very positive uh, i thought the speeches and the introduction this morning were really really good everyone's interested in, in sharing other technologies and seeing other people's insights the Innovation Festival is a really great event where there are loads of people from all different walks of life coming together, all getting involved and trying to come up with new ideas and new ways for Northumbria to interact with its customers. Interesting, uh, informative and I like the different ideas about how we can improve our environment. Absolutely magnificent, brilliant. I was here last year, really enjoyed it, but this year it's even better and it's been worth coming. Well, as you can see, I've been really busy, but not half as busy as our sprints. We're reaching the end of day one, and it's time to go and see just exactly what they've got up to. Have they hit gold yet? They've hit gold, yes. They have! So tell me, what have you discovered today, then? We discovered quite a lot, actually. Um, the first thing well, I learned was when they're digging where they think there's an electric cable, they don't dig directly on top of it. They dig slightly to one side, and then when they get to the depth, they dig gently sideways because there's less chance of, of injuring yourself. So the learnings from today, where does that take you to tomorrow? Well, tomorrow we're looking at solutions, actually. So we're starting to look at solutions for how this is done in other areas of the world and other areas of the country to see if we can draw best practices and decide what's best for us. But remember, it's about data sharing as well. It's not just about the safety of the dig. So day one, you're running a little bit behind, but I don't think that's a bad thing. How have things gone and where's it taking you for day two? I think the reason why we're running behind, we've had so many fantastic speakers. I think day one's about loading as much inspiration as possible into the sprint. Well, tomorrow we've, we're have we really dissecting the, the, the thought process about, well, what is a fan versus what is a customer today? Tomorrow we'll start to map those journeys out through a typical life of a fan or a customer. And then we'll start to innovate around those moments to see, well, how can we possibly do this through technology or, or whatever it might be? And we've got some speakers for the rest of the week. So we're not really sure how it's going to pan out. It's down to the people in the room, really. And problem solving, are they going to be able to do that? What oh, are you sure expecting? We've got some really clever people in the room, so let's see what they come up with. We don't really know what it looks like, so it's a whole new world. So Hannah, I've just been hearing about you and your passion for all things plastic and not putting it in the sea. What started that for you? Well, my mum did a lot of work on plastic pollution and plastics, so when I had to pick a topic for my school project, I decided to use plastic pollution as I want other people to help our environment. I want to teach other people to like recycle and pick up plastic and save our environment. I'm thinking maybe Prime Minister. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> So we've met all of our sprint teams, we've seen the mountains that they have to climb. We'll have more for you tomorrow here on IFTV. Join us.